Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and we have just received a massive update to the base game which is completely free to download. All you need to do is open Origin and update your game and in this patch they have added over a thousand new color variants to build and buy items that are from the base game which is so exciting so we're definitely gonna check that out in a second but they also have added a couple new things to create a sim, so I thought we would start here and check those out. They also announced two new kits today. So I think yesterday they announced that there's gonna be four new kits this fall slash winter. You guys know this, but I don't really love kits, but today they announced the two next kits. I think they're coming out on October 5th. I'll show you guys the box art now. So we have the Intron Arrivals kit. Don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And then we have the Fashion Street kit. We have a new art style with illustrations as the cover. I kind of like the previous kit covers, but obviously I really like illustrations and these are stunning as well. So I have a couple of screenshots we can go through about those kits as well. But let's just start with the Creative Sim items. These were not listed in the patch notes, at least at the time that I'm recording this video. And the patch notes have been out for like 30 minutes already. So I don't know why they didn't list these, but there are some new assets in Creative Sim. For example, this absolutely stunning, beautiful hair. Absolutely in love with this. Here's the blonde version so you can see it. Isn't this beautiful? This is in some of the screenshots for one of the new kits, but it's actually a base game item. So this is completely free for you to get, which is really, really cool. I really, really like it. I think it looks great on Penny here. Honestly, like as a base game here, it's definitely one of the best ones. And then we also have this one, this shorter one, which looks like so. I put it on my male DZ model as well. Really cute. This one's just everything though. And I mainly use custom content. Well, I only use custom content. So I can't actually always even remember what's in the base game and in the packs. Is this hair something that's been in here for a while? Because I don't ever remember seeing this before. Is this just an updated hair? I don't know. All I know is that these two hairs were used in the H on Arrivals screenshots. And then this one was used in the Fashion Street kit screenshots but they also use a bunch of base game hairs that have been in the game forever so i don't freaking know but at least these two are new and absolutely stunning and then we also have some new clothes so i'm gonna go off this screenshot that was posted on twitter so in here you can see some of the new swatches for the items they build and buy but you can see the new hairs and then some of the new outfits so first up we have this full body outfit that I love this. It's super, super stunning. It's like a wrap top and wrap like pants, which honestly, they look so good together. I love this. It comes in a couple different swatches. It looks stunning. And then also this is featured in the screenshot and I want to say this is new, but again, I'm not 100%. I can't remember every single thing that is from PAX because I don't usually use them. So they just kind of don't stay in my brain. But this is also absolutely stunning. I love the design and the different like patterns and the flowers. Super, super, super pretty. Also, can someone tell me if these shoes are new? Because I don't ever remember seeing these before. But they're in the game now and they're base game. They don't have that many swatches. They might be old, you guys. I don't freaking know. <laughs> but they're cool. But honestly, like, I don't remember when this or this was added to the base game or this. So if my information isn't 100% correct, please forgive me. But moving on to the masculine clothes, we do have this new full body outfit, which is also super, super stunning. It comes in a couple different variations. I think this is really, really cool. I love seeing this in base game. Oh, and this outfit is also in the screenshot that I was talking about. So I think this is new as well. I just realized he has a CC necklace on. Let me take that off. So we have this. Really cool. I actually really, really like this. This kind of reminds me of the feminine outfit I just showed you guys. I'm not sure why, but it does. Really, really cool. 
This is definitely new since it's in the screenshot. I like the all black swatch as well. That's awesome. And here is this hairstyle on Masculine Sims. Oh, and here is the longer one. Wow. This is also in the screenshots, but I have no idea if this is new. Yeah, I really don't know what's new nowadays, but that was in the screenshots too. All right, so let's quickly look at the two kits that they announced today. First up, we have the Inchon Arrivals kit, and I'll leave links down below to the patch notes, and they also have blog posts for both of the new kits, and they even made little videos uh, that are all about the new kits that were super interesting as well, so go check those out. But basically for this pack, it says fashionistas, pack your passports, next destination, Seoul, South Korea. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name of that city correctly. But basically, this kid is inspired by outfits that are seen at the Incheon International Airport. And here are the two screenshots that I have to share. So obviously the kit isn't out yet. I don't have any of the kit pass assets yet, but I will make a video once the kit is out. So this is the first one. You get to see some of the looks. And then in the second one, you can see the two new hairstyles clearly, even though they're base game. I actually love the sweater on the girl. And I really like the color scheme for this pack as well. And then for the fashion street kit, it says new patterns, new fits, new city. Discover the Sims 4 fashion street kit. And this is inspired by Mumbai in India. Again, I recommend you guys go check out the blog posts and the little videos that they have. But this pack will have things like nose rings, henna tattoos, sandals, flowy wrap skirts, etc. And here are the two screenshots for this pack. This dress on the right is absolutely stunning. I really like the colors for this one too. And then we have this one. Really cool. There seems to be a lot of accessories. So I really want to check this one out when it comes out. But yeah, that's it for the kits. Now let's jump into Build and Buy and check out some of the new thousand plus color variants and swatches that they added to the base game. So according to the patch notes, again, which are linked down below, they added over 1,200 color variants to 149 base game assets, including all of the base game windows. I actually think they did every single one. So we will check some of those out now. So these windows, you guys have seen them a million times probably. And now there's a lot of new colors. Let's take something like this. Okay, this is great. And now they're gonna match all the doors because they updated the doors a while ago and they didn't update the windows with all the colors. Oh my God, there's so many colors now. That's super, super awesome. That just base game stuff has so many options now. Let's see these modern windows. Yup, okay, these were not all here before, like these ones. Super, super cool. That's awesome. I think they even updated some of like the wallpapers. I'm not sure which ones. Oh, actually, maybe it was flooring that they did. There is a full list in the patch notes of everything that they updated, but they did do, for example, this thing. This is one of the <laughs> most basic floors. I always use this. Apparently, this has new swatches now. I don't remember exactly which ones are new, but that's super cool. I'm not going to check them all out because there are 149 different items with 1,200 plus swatches. So ain't nobody got time for that. But let's check for it out, for example, this thing. Yeah, there's no way all these were here before. Really love the white ones. Stunning. Apparently even some of like the bushes and the flower bushes that they have were updated. I'm looking at the pictures now. Oh, for example, these. Oh, no way. I use these all the time. Okay, wow. There are so many new swatches. Absolutely stunning. This bush, apparently. Yeah, okay. I love the blue swatch. Look at the purple or is that a black? So pretty. And then, for example, this rose bush as well. Okay, this is really exciting. I'm not going to check them all out, but that's really cool. I do think there were some wallpapers. I just didn't know which ones. But I really also wanted to check out the new planter pots or the new swatches because I use these in every single build and they have like four swatches before and now they have like 20. 
Okay, love that. Okay, this is so nice. Okay, that makes me super, super happy. And then let's just check out some of the base game items. I think this bed got a couple new swatches, but I don't use that much base game stuff, so I don't remember which ones are new, but I know some bookshelves got new swatches. There are a lot of things did, so just check out the blog post to be sure. But I'm really excited about the kitchen the cabinets that got new swatches. There are also like curtains, tables, stuff like that. But let me pull out some of these base game cabinets. I'm not sure if all of them got new swatches, but a lot of these, yeah, I think these ones, some of these are definitely new. Cool. Okay, this definitely has way more swatches than before. That's super awesome. They will also have matching kitchen cabinets. I know this long table is listed as getting a few new swatches. I don't know what the best light is, but that's awesome. Let's check out some of the bookshelves. I really like this tiny one. Yep, and now I have so many new wooden swatches. I love that for us. Also, this is one of my favorite ones. I believe this now has more swatches. Okay, this is awesome. I'm definitely gonna not gonna go through all of them. I guess I can show you guys the pictures that they added in the blog post. I think the green dots mean new colors, so I'll cycle through them now. They did clutter items, shelves, curtains. They did a lot of things. There's even trash cans. <laughs> oh my god, I do want to check out the stoves in game as well because they look really cool in these pictures. And then there's like the chest tables and and we have more curtains, some of the flooring, the new kitchen stuff, and then the plants and the wallpapers. And then lastly, we have all of the new base game windows, well, all the new colors, because they updated every single base game window, which is really, really exciting. So let me just lastly check out some of the oven swatches in the game because this is exciting to me. I'm not even sure if, which ovens it was, but let's check out a couple of these. Okay, again, I don't remember exactly what's new. I feel like this one is not new. Neither is this. No, apparently this did get one new swatch, which I think is this one. And then the blue swatch on this is new. And so is the black and the pink. There's a lot going on here. I can't even keep track. I think the red one and stuff is also new. So anyways, super, super cool. Definitely check out the blog post. But yeah, that is today's new update. So this is all for free and soon we'll be getting the new kits that I was already talking to you guys about. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. This is pretty cool that they've given us so many new color swatches for free, at least I think so. So if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here and go check out your newly updated base game and all the new items because this is exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!